Hey what's up guys, I am Sam and I recently uploaded a short film on my channel, a really very short film, Knock. So if you haven't seen it till now, you can see the fact, uh, the link will be there in the description and you can also click this button. So a lot of people ask me that how did I do that pupil dilating effect. Now people ask me that how did I do that pupil dilating effect, interesting. So sit back, relax and get your popcorn. So here is the pupil dilating effect tutorial. So I'll take this eye footage and drop it on this icon to make a new composition. And here we have a raw footage of the eye. Right, so the first step is to track the eye so that we can add another eye that sticks to our eye. Too many eyes. So we'll right click on the footage and track motion. So we'll try to take a point that has a little bit of contrast. And what I recommend is turn the quality to full so that the track is perfect. And we can take any of this part. And then we can go and click analyze forward. Alright, so the tracking is done till this point. So we'll need to track it backwards now. So we'll click on analyze backwards. Alright, so the tracking is complete. Now we'll make a new null object and name it as tracker. And then we can go and edit the target and select tracker and then hit apply x and y okay all right so we can see that our tracker that you can see here is linked to our eye all right so now we need to recreate this eye so we'll make a new solid hit okay and turn off the eye switch and we'll create a mask around the pupil all right and then we'll go to effect, generate gradient ramp. Alright, so we'll take the color picker and choose the colors accordingly. Alright, so now we'll take these points and align them to the eye, actually the pupil. Alright, that looks good for now. And then we'll need to create another solid for the inner portion of the pupil. So we'll take the color and OK and mask this part and then maybe we can make this more dark just change the color okay and what we'll do is we'll feather both of these masks so maybe four and four now we'll shut this off for a second and then we'll try to recreate the reflections and the highlights so we'll make a new solid which is white and shut the eye switch off and take the pen tool and try to mask each of these Alright, so now we'll try to match the feathering and the opacity from the original footage. So we can just turn this off again, hit MM. Alright, so we can just feather it to maybe turn the opacity to 90. And this big mask to 95. And this one will be like 2 and 40 this one to maybe 4 and 50 this one 4 and 60 all right so let's see what we have here all right that looks good and let's see I think we can just make this color more brownish looks good all right so what I did in the original example is I took this reflection map or reflection reference and I dropped it in here and uh, all right so what I did is duplicate this layer and uh, place it above the reflection reference and then we can rename it as pupil reflection 
and then we can turn the eye switch on for the reflection layer and we can just toggle the switches and set the track mat of the reflection reference to alpha mat so we have something like this which is pretty horrible and what we need to do is create another mask inside of this mask to, to remove the middle part we can hit subtract and hit F feather this and just increase the size I can just scale this down and then set the blending mode to add and then we can decrease the opacity of this layer and just adjust this mask Alright, that looks good. And what else you can do is go to Google Images and search for an eye. And you can always use these as a reference, so just a tip. So what we'll do now is take all these layers and pre-compose them. Control Shift C. Name it as pupil. And we'll parent this to the tracker so that it stays where the original eye is and we can take this anchor point and align it to the center of the pupil and scale it a bit alright so we have this in here now what we'll need to take care of is when it goes down so what we'll do is go up frame by frame and take the pen tool and create a mask around this portion Right, so we'll click on M and set it to subtract and then we can hit F and feather it like 4 pixels and then we can click on M again and set the keyframe for the mask path you can go up frame by frame and adjust the mask turn on the motion blur for this layer alright that looks good for now and we can just go inside this layer and then start our main effect the pupil dilating effect alright so maybe we can just feather this more maybe like 10 or something yes and then change the anchor point bring it in center and then hit S set the stopwatch for scale and scale it like this maybe you click shift and hit F and set a keyframe for feather and decrease the feather maybe two all right that looks good and I think we should just fasten it up and move these keyframes back in time <laughs> so let's see what we have here all right that looks great and finally we can add some color correction to this whole scene alright that looks good maybe degrees of sharpness looks cool alright another thing we can do is we can just select the pupil layer and go to noise and grain and add grain and set the viewing mode to final output and maybe decrease the intensity to maybe 0.6 and that adds grain to the eye so that it doesn't look perfect it matches the footage maybe 0.8 alright that's it I hope this tutorial helped you if it did give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and goodbye BAM